want to take a second to thank our sponsor today, Beam, and let you know they're having their biggest sale of the year, up to 50% off when you use the link below and subscribe. Beam created an amazing sleepy hot cocoa called Dream, and it's formulated to help you fall asleep and stay asleep. Its all natural ingredients are formulated to ease your body and mind into rest mode and then support all your stages of sleep throughout the night. Dream was created to be part of your nightly bedtime routine and something you can safely enjoy every single day. And it's encouraged to sip on Dream 30 to 45 minutes before you go to bed. The reason I love this product so much is my sleep is so important to me. Not only does good sleep affect how I feel the next day, I know how important and crucial it is to my health and longevity. And when I became a mom three years ago, sleep became even more important. We know like most parents get a lot of sleepless nights the first few years of parenting, and that just means every hour of sleep has to matter and has to be rejuvenating. And if we get a bad night of sleep, it doesn't mean the next day we can just like stay in bed and be lazy because we have children to take care of and that's what it means to be parents you're on 24 7 to be the best mom I can possibly be I need good sleep <laughs> so I really try to go to bed early most nights and lately in my routine I've been enjoying this dream hot cocoa and it's so nice to just sip it while I'm unwinding with a book or a show or just talking to my husband and sharing stories about how cute our children are. <laughs> and I have noticed a significant difference in the quality of my sleep and how I feel the next day once I started incorporating this into my bedtime routine. And I'm not the only one in a clinical study. 93% of participants reported Dream helping them get better sleep. You really don't want to miss out on the biggest sale of the year going on right now, so click the link below at shopbeam.com slash Hannah McNeely or use the QR code and you can get up to 50% off when you subscribe and there's no obligation you can like cancel or pause anytime and don't worry there's no code necessary to get the discount the discount is auto applied at checkout and yeah let me know how you guys like it I've really been enjoying this and there's so many great flavors to choose from and the end back to our styling video We have been adding more and more to our house to warm it up and make it feel like home. If you didn't see my last styling video, I'll link it below. So we just got a piano, a used piano from a music shop and it was such a great deal and it's missing the middle pedal and it's perfect. And we're actually contemplating painting it to break up all the wood because it's next to a wood panel wall, but we can't decide because there's kind of like no going back on that kind of thing. So let us know your thoughts about painting it. At the end of the summer, Eric also finished a landscaping project, adding this brick border to our garden area of the backyard. And it took a long time because we had a baby at the end of April and we're definitely busy at the moment. Another big thing we did to add life and warmth is to bring in some new indoor plants. I got like eight mature plants on Facebook Marketplace for $80 and it was such a steal. I really recommend checking out Marketplace for plants. People are always selling them at a very cheap price. And I just feel like placing beautiful plants around your home is such an easy way to liven it up. Not to mention it's really good for your family's health. But as my friend Gabe reminds me, there's no such thing as an indoor plant. All plants are outdoor plants. So good luck and Godspeed keeping it alive.
And as you know, one of the big things I've been working on is sourcing artwork that we love to put on the walls. And I asked my friend Laura if I could buy some of her work and she sent us some and we're absolutely obsessed with it. If you like Laura's artwork, I'm gonna link her Instagram below. So pretty. I'm so excited. It's my favorite. Yeah. So beautiful. I love this one. She's so talented. And she works so hard. Perfect. One is she's eating spaghetti. <laughs> she likes spaghetti. <laughs> okay, so these are just like completely random things I found at the store that I'm really into. Uh, here you can see yourself. There you are. I just think this mirror is super cool. I'm gonna hang it on the wall by the bookshelf, I think. And I got some cool baskets. Baskets are just infinitely handy. And I really wanted some more colorful vases because I do have vases that are just sort of boring and just plain glass. So I really wanna have more flowers in my house and these look so beautiful on the piano. And really soon I'm gonna get some of my other friend's artwork. She's also in our same group from high school. Her name's Erin and she's a mother of two and very busy and she uh, doesn't focus on art anymore but she's also extremely talented and I texted her the other day I was like hey remember when you were in that like nude drawing class do you have any more of those drawings can I buy some off you and put them around my house <laughs> so yeah I just it feels really special to have my friends artwork on the walls All right, it's happening. We have been talking about this for months. <laughs> we are finally going to wallpaper this entry wall right here. Um, Eric has been wanting to wallpaper and I uh, just didn't like any of, bless, any of the wallpapers that he chose and I finally found one on Anthropology that I said, I said, yes, this is the one. Nice. We're gonna do it. I can't wait. So we have never wallpapered before. We're a little anxious about it. We don't know how it's gonna go. Um, it just seems a little intimidating, but it's one little wall, so I feel like we can do it. So this is the collage wall we are continually working on. Um, <laughs> we have some placeholders here. These, and let's see if I can do it. These three are um, from the children's book Going on a Bear Hunt. And it's one of our favorite books. We grew up with it. And this was like from my childhood book and it was literally just like 
torn to pieces and just because we had read it so much so I framed them in some thrifted frames and I'm going to remove two of them boop boop the ones with words just because they probably don't belong out here I think it's more for Cosmo's room I need some more variety in terms of size right now I need some smaller pieces and today we're also going to finally fill this empty space that's been here forever and I'm so excited um yeah we're gonna put up some of Laura's pieces and some of Aaron's pieces. And we do need to replace that sconce. It's not our favorite. It just came with the house. We'll probably find something cool later. We're gonna put these in your room. I'm gonna hold them. Okay, just be very careful with them, okay? There's glass. Syrup or something. Uh, who knows? It could have been. I just noticed it. So. It's definitely not the right way to handle painting art. What about this in the hallway or something? I just love this one so much. Or part of our gallery wall. 